Hello students, in the last video we have talked about International Federation of Accountants that is IFAZ. As we know IFAZ is a global organization, you know that it is a global organization which represents the accounting profession and uh, which promotes the international standards about accounting. In this video we are going to study about the ethical requirements of financial reporting. Financial reporting and analysis which create success and well-being for all companies and all organizations right the ethics of a company or organization come into a play uh, for proper reporting and analysis within the industry or financial reporting and analysis should come ethics so uh, leaves are at stake of each day no matter what the uh, financial state of the organization the future of the industry is uh, unsure and ethics will play an important role in it so let's talk about the ethical concerns in financial reporting and analysis uh, within the company or within the organization. First one, integrity. What do you mean by integrity? All of you know that integrity means here a, a professional accountant should be straightforward and honest in all professional and business relationship. So a, a, every accountant, he should be straightforward and he should be honest person in all professional and business relationship. A professional accountant have a responsibility to avoid actual and apparent conflict of interest. He should be, uh, he should be responsible for or to avoid the actual and apparent conflict of interest. The professionals should be able to refrain from engaging in any activity that would uh, prejudice their ability to carry out their duties ethically. A professional accountant should not be associated with reports, returns, communications uh, or other information where they believe that the information contains materially false or you know, misleading statements. So this is about the integrity. And second one, objectivity and independence. The principle of objectivity, you know that this imposes on all professional accountants to be fair, uh, to be honest and free from conflict of interest and should not allow uh, business or undue influences uh, of others to override uh, their professional or business judgment of the mind often dissolved as uh, independence. So that professional accountant, uh, they have the responsibility to communicate information fairly and objectively and disclose fully to all relevant information that could reasonably be expected to influence uh, an int intended user's understanding of the reports or comment and uh, recommendations presented. So this IFAZ code of ethics uh, for professional accountants which recognizes that the objectives of accountancy professional are to work uh, to the uh, highest standards of uh, professionalism and to attain the highest uh, levels of performance and generally to meet the public interest of requirements. So this is about the objectivity and uh, independence. So every accountant, uh, he should be fair and honest and free from conflict of every interest or conflict of interest and should not allow business or undue influences uh, of others to overread their uh, financial or professional judgment of the mind often as independence and third one uh, professional competence and due care a professional accountant has a continuing duty to maintain professional knowledge and skill at the level required to ensure that client or employer receives competent professional services based on current developments in practice and legislation and uh, uh, techniques so competent professional services require uh, the exercise of, of sound judgment in applying professional knowledge and skill in the performance of such uh, uh, services. So this is about the professional competence. Every accountant, uh, they should have or they should maintain the professional knowledge or accountant knowledge and skill at the level required to ensure that client or an employer, he receives the competent professional services and based on the current development in practice. And fourth one, confidentiality. The principle of confidentiality, confidentiality, you know that an obligation on the professional accountants to refrain from disclosing the client confidential information uh, acquired as a result of professional or business relationship uh, without proper and specific authority or uh, uh, unless there is a legal or uh, a professional right or duty to disclose 
and also refraining for using confidential information uh, required acquired as a uh, result of professional duty and uh, business relation uh, to their uh, personal advantage or uh, uh, the advantage of third parties the professional accountant should maintain confidentiality even in social environment so this is uh, about confidentiality or confidentiality means every professional accountant he should maintain the confidentiality in even in social or uh, environment or in uh, business environment understood so this is about the confidentiality and next one honesty and uh, uh, integrity standards integrity covers a lot of different ethical uh, standards that include honesty and uh, professional conduct in all circumstances an accountant he should always present the facts uh, and objectivity and refrain from slanting information in a misleading way so an accountant who does not demonstrate a high level of integrity is not trustworthy and losses the confidence of clients so this is about the honesty and integrity of uh, standards so these are the five ethical requirements of financial reporting and next we will talk about the consequences of financial reporting unethical accounting practices motivated by bonus incentives you know that right pressure to obtain financing or a desire to appear successful or are not always illegal but they almost uh, always have an adverse effect on your business the common theme of these practices is that they sacrifice the short term gain of apparent financial viability for long term negative consequences so some of the consequences of financial reporting first one misappropriation of assets a business owner or might think he is only be using his own assets when he takes business goods or personal use for personal use such as ream of copy paper or pizza at the end of the night but an employee might see thing these things differently you know that right so the employee may see the use of or appropriation of business goods or personal needs as a benefit of being an employee so before long or oh, the employee who witnessed the owner's borrowing has become a borrower himself and others are seeing this employee's behavior as acceptable understood so misappropriation of cash is one of the consequence of uh, financial reporting second one civil and criminal penalties if company management uh, is unethical to the point of financial fraud the company could be subject to civil and criminal penalties for public publicly traded companies Uh, or else any company for the investors of the company may be able to successfully sue that company and its owners for civil damages uh, to cover their losses take for example small business owners should exercise caution as not understanding accounting practices uh, and standards is not a defense uh, for fraudulent reporting if a reasonable person believes a manager should have known about fraud in the business this may be enough to allow the jury to side with the uh, plaintiff understood and next one loss of reputation if you operate your small business in an unethical manner a uh, word will eventually get out right so this is especially true for small businesses in tight knit uh, tight knit communities in general customers would rather shop at uh, businesses that operate ethically take care of their employees and support their communities if your company does not operate ethically this can affect the willingness of customers and suppliers to conduct a business with you over time this may destroy your business so loss of reputation is also one of the consequence of financial reporting loss of human capital next one many good employees do not want to work for a company that is unethical right so accounting professional standards require that accounting work is performed ethically and with integrity if you pressure company accounts uh, to behave unethically these accountants can't upload the standards of their profession and they might uh, risk loss of their uh, license or credentials so reputable accountants will not work for an employer who expect expects unethical behavior and next one disclosure violations as a uh, subtopic of fraudulent financial reporting disclosure violations are errors of ethical omission you know that errors of omission errors of commission errors of uh, 
and other errors are there right so while intentionally recording transactions in a manner that is not in accordance with the generally accepted accounting principles is considered fraudulent financial reporting the failure to disclose information to investors that could change their decisions about investing in the company could be considered a fraudulent financial reporting as well right so company executives must walk a fine line it is important for management to protect the company's pro proprietary information however if this information relates to a significant event it may not be ethical to keep this information from the uh, investors a another ethical concern for any industry is executive focusing lies in the organization becoming too focused on the executive for example an executive within an organization that is given too much power may use this power to pressure the financial reporting and analysis team for from accountants to billing specialist the team may feel as if they need to fake numbers or not disclose certain information due to the ideation of the executive so these executives are then uh, free to spend fake money on purchases outside of the organization and to gain investors to create a rise in the uh, in their income and power so within the industry or within the organizations they should remain focused on uh, care or uh, uh, customer care instead of catering to their executives although leadership is important too much power comes with too much responsibility especially with something so sensitive and next one no direct chain of command every industry must have their proper chain of command in order to uh, provide the best financial reporting and uh, analysis organization within the industry or within any industry should strive to have command chains that are effective and highly trained if an employee notices a problem within the organization or organization's reporting uh, it should be reported and follow this chain to ensure something is done so within a chain of command financial reporting and analysis issues can go unnoticed or creating further damage to the organization's assets furthermore an enterprise without a chain of command creates hardships for the patient or any customers who wish to report it does not always have to be an employee that reports a potential situation it could very well uh, be a uh, customer in your care so this is about the consequences of financial reporting in this video we have talked about the ethical requirements that is five ethical requirements of financial reporting integrity objectivity and independence third one professional competence and due care confidentiality honesty and integrity of standards and also we talked we have talked about consequences of financial reporting misappropriation of assets civil and criminal penalties loss of reputation loss of human capital disclosure violations executive focusing no direct chain of command if you have if you have any doubts you can clarify it thank you